Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my Emergency 112 Let's Play series. Today we are in the last part of our in-depth look at uh, different apparatus and uh, we are looking at two different ones because both are limited in what they do and limited in what they have on board so I figure we can just look at them at the same time but uh, before we get started let me say again thank you guys for all your support that you show me here over the last uh, few weeks if you dislike the video I honestly ask you to hit that dislike button let me know what you dislike and if you like the video then I ask you to hit the like button show me that you like the video and we will definitely have more so without further ado let's look here at the first one which is the elw1 and as you can see here elw1-2 um now for our uh, for all intents and purposes we just call it the elw1 uh, elw in german einsatzleitwagen for us um within the north american way the way we do things it would be comparable to the battalion because if the whole battalion goes on a call this one is the vehicle that the battalion chief sits in as well as his assistant yes he has an assistant um now we can look inside here and you see that there is certain um uh, amenities for yeah to to get the lead going to keep the command on the scene um, there is a couple of different computers in there which connects them in in this case especially since over there this is one of uh, germany's in real life this is one of germany's mo most modern uh, dispatch centers so uh, this will definitely uh, help you to stay abreast of what's going on at the scene and those uh, vehicles are uh, pretty much uh, standard for every uh, fire department be that now a uh, uh, now be that now a volunteer fire department or is in here uh, as it is the case a full-time fire department uh, those vehicles have a maximum gvw of uh, four ton and uh, yeah they have different radios in there as you can see with the uh, antennas they do have in terms of what they have in game is uh, they have of course a powder extinguisher as well as a co2 uh, carbon dioxide they have a halogen tool they have a thermal camera and they have traffic cones on there as well as one set of ba that's it to yeah that's, that's really it for this vehicle it has no real purpose other than drive out with uh, the other units uh coming now or going over to our ladder truck and I'm going to wait till the lights kick in because otherwise y'all get uh, <laughs> a seizure here maybe with all the blue lights flashing so we're just gonna wait till it's a little bit darker and I'll be right back so and since the light from the normal station did not uh, did not reach quite uh, I figured, well, why the heck not? Just, let's just get the LF24 and use this wonderful light mast uh, that it's uh, that is attached, and that makes it a little bit more bearable. I could, of course, also turn the blue lights off, but where's the fun in that? So next up, we look at the ladder truck. Ladder truck here is a DLK3030, denoting as the maximum rescue height. So. We can extend this to a maximum of 30 meters or right around 90, I do believe, what is it, 98 feet? Well, let's just say 100 to, to make it even. It should be 33 then, but anyway. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, how far that goes. DLK, the K in this one. Uh, DL stands for turntable. And then the K in this case denotes that there is a basket attached to it which you see here um, and then let's just look quickly what's on it uh, we have two fans that are used to remove sm remove smoke uh, from buildings um, 
yeah maybe only used after the fire has been extinguished and the attack squad is not endangered anymore because uh, well of course if the fire is still going and you start blowing air in there that's maybe the last thing that you want to do because you create a wonderful furnace there or actually uh, kind of like a forge um, then of course we do have a uh, <coughs> excuse me um, we have a ABC um, powder extinguisher in here then we have the distributor two hollow jet nozzles one fire axe four C hoses I unwinded one and connected it there to the distributor coming from the TLF which unfortunately I can't hook it up because uh, unless you are in a call out with this um, you don't have the line hanging down here so I can't hook it up and show you guys but anyways and uh, two B hoses here and that is really it in terms of uh, what's on this truck I will go now and will uh, climb on the ladder and show you guys uh, how it looks from up there because you can use it from up here and you can use it also from down at the uh, uh, yeah from from the from the control port downstairs but now we're gonna extend it fully and go to its full 30 meter And of course what you want to do with this one or what you can do with this one is for one thing you can fight fires uh, it, it gives you an aerial plat platform uh, to fight fires from above um, it gives you a platform to rescue people with um, yeah I guess could bungee jump from it too man not really would we'll probably snap the ladder clean in half that was a dumb comment that I made there don't mind me but uh, yeah, so that pretty much wraps it up. Um, yeah, that's, this is the very last of the vehicles that I can show you guys that you actually use in a callout. Um, of course, I could show you guys also. Uh, I could show you guys also the uh, nah, the swap body, but. Honestly, the swap bodies are without functions at the moment. Um, and while it has a nice animation, there is really no callout for it at the moment either. That might come later on. I hope it comes later on. But as of right now, there is just no need for it. So with that said, uh, yeah, as I said, this is the last of the um, apparatus in depth. So just like I said initially, those were the three videos. If you missed the other two, then I have two cards popping up right now that will take you uh, to the first and the second video. And uh, yeah, later today you will also see uh, another normal emergency 112 car where we go in to go through a full shift. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, then as I said in the beginning, please hit that like button. Leave a comment if you feel inclined to do so. This is the Northern Alex signing off. God bless.